Right guys, welcome back to this video. And as you can see, we are in my home kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you three different ways to cook your breakfast with the same ingredients. So we've got overnight oats shake. We have got my normal conventional cooked oats, which I typically have most days as a bodybuilder, keep it simple. And then we've got awesome baked oats, which feels like you're cheating, but you're not because it's the exact same ingredients we're gonna use. So let's get on it in and do the first one, which is gonna be the baked oats, because we can get that in the oven, get it cooking, whilst we sort the other two out as well. So first ingredient is one full banana. And yes guys, I did cut my banana up, and if you've got a problem with it, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Next ingredient, nice and easy, two thirds cup of water. Next up, the main ingredient, which is my favorite, rolled oats. How sad is that when I'm saying my favorite rolled oats? But 80 grams we are putting in. Next ingredient has to be protein. I've gone vanilla raspberry just to uh, give it a little bit of kick because we're using berries and also because we're using vanilla syrup i just thought we'll keep it in unison <laughs> so we're gonna go two scoops so around 40 to 50 grams of protein so next up this is really personal preference so vanilla drops uh, or sugar-free syrups whatever you want to use you could use up to 10 drops, but for me personally, that is a hell of a lot. So if you've got a sweet tooth, go towards the 10. If you haven't, go towards the five to six, what I would do. Right, next up, baking powder. We're only gonna put a little bit in, so we're gonna put three quarts of tablespoon. Not, oh no, not tablespoon, teaspoon. Don't put tablespoon in, put teaspoon in. So three quarts, teaspoon. There we go. Right guys, so we're gonna preheat the oven to 180. So we get a nice little wham. Next up, we're gonna blend all the ingredients together. Right guys, so this is the best part. So we're gonna start pouring it into the bowl. Make sure the bowl is compatible with the oven, obviously, because it's going in the oven. We're gonna put half the mixture in. We're then gonna get the best part, which is the almond butter. And we're gonna put 25 grams, a big dollop in the middle, and then we're gonna cover the rest over. The reason for that is when it warms up, it's gonna melt and just seep through the batter as it melts. It's amazing, trust me. So the last ingredient is the berry family. So you can use whatever berry you want. We've got raspberries here, we've got blueberries, you can use blackberries, anything you want. Because we've got raspberries already in the protein, I wanna use something a little bit different. So we're gonna go for blueberries. Um, also, we're gonna put a bit of stevia on top of the blueberries, just so then they don't frazzle and burn and wither away inside the oven. Okay, let's do this. Right, so that is the baked oats done. So we're gonna put it into the oven, 20 to 25 minutes, just making sure it's nice and crisp and brown on the top. So that's the baked oats done, nice and easy, nice and quick. We're now gonna move on to, I wouldn't say my favorite, my go-to is what I normally have, which is just normal oats. You've probably seen me make these a million times, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show it you. So first up, 80 grams of oats. Second up, we're going for one full banana. Next up, blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries, whatever you want. I'm all about blueberries, so we're gonna put the rest of them in, perfect. Next up, 25 grams of almond butter. So 
So we're just gonna add water before we go straight into the microwave and put it on for two minutes. And last up, we've got two scoops of the vanilla raspberry. Again, you can use any protein for this. This is just my go-to at the minute. Two scoops of around 40 grams of protein. Easy as that, less than five minutes, probably three minutes max. And that is probably why I go for that type of uh, breakfast. Nice and easy, after I've done my hour cardio, I just wanna get straight in and get it in me, and it tastes amazing. And you've got to use a fruit bowl. That's how much ingredients you've got to put in it. So it's your first meal of the day, which is the most important meal of the day. So you get as much as you can in. <laughs> right, so the last and final one is basically when you're on the go, you need to run out the door. This is perfect for it. So it is technically overnight oats, but we're going to make it into a shake. So make sure you've got your Nutri Blend. We're going to go, as per the other two ingredients, full banana. And yes, I am cutting it up to go in a blender. So the main ingredient for overnight oats is obviously oats. So we need to get them. This is what I soaked overnight. Here's one I made earlier. And we will have these in here in no time. So I know a lot of you are gonna ask, why have you put overnight oats in? Why have you soaked them overnight? Why do you just chuck them in raw? The reason for that is I've, in the past, just used to put them in raw, and I used to get a lot of stomach issues, and that was the common cause of it, because I used to eat raw oats quite a lot, um, and I found the only way to stop that is to let them fully expand in the fridge, in water, overnight, rather than them expanding in the stomach and uh, causing all sorts of digestive problems. So that is the reason I do that. So as per the other two um, recipes, we're gonna put 30 grams of blueberries in there. Again, raspberries, blackberries, anything from the berry family you can do. And then we're gonna add some ice as well because we want it nice and cool on the go. There we go. Next up, we've got the vanilla drops. So again, this is just for people who've got a sweet tooth and it's all dependent on how sweet your tooth is on how much you wanna put in there. That'll be ample for me. Next up, almond butter. Again, 25 grams. And then the final ingredients is two scoops whey protein. One, two. And then we're gonna blend this up. And there we have it. Nice and simple. If you're on the go, you can take that out with you and it tastes amazing and in the system quite quickly. So no excuses on missing breakfast. And here we have it, the baked oats. As you can see, as it's melted, the peanut butter or the almond butter is pushing through the middle. So whoa, wait till that's melted through. You're gonna be amazed balls. So there you have it guys. We've got three different variants of breakfast all with the same ingredients. Obviously we did add three quarts of baking powder to this, but other than that, everything is exactly the same and they taste so different. So if you're on prep, or if you're somebody who needs that variation, which unfortunately in bodybuilding you don't typically get, it's good to try and look at different ways of getting some, some excitement in your food. And this is a great way of doing it. Um, please give it a try, I guarantee you'll love it. It's not one of these recipes you'll try, that was awful, I'd rather not. Try all three, see what you think, see which one's your best, and then comment below, let me know which one is your favorite out of the three. Um, and like I say, I do appreciate you watching my videos, taking the time to look around my channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.